time spent with your family having fun? All right. So here's where the fun begins. All right. So we'll go to our store. And we'll immediately go in and get those two new mods. We're going to uh, do this one. We got to go to details. Oh, wow. It's like a uh, tree grabber or something. Keep back 300 feet or 90 meters. I like the cab on it. I like the tracks. Warning. Yeah, you get yourself caught in there. So that must be a little brace for the log as you're working it. Okay. And then we were going to do this tracked harvester. See how that works. Details. Let's take a look at this. This is the 955, I see, keep saying five, 959 MH tracked harvester. I like how that kind of sits up on a little pivot with the ball bearings. This is, I forgot to look at the horsepower on the other one. This is a 330 horsepower. Your top speed is five miles an hour on this one. So at least this one, yes. Okay. So, what was the horsepower on this other one? It was 330 also, 330 horsepower on both of these. And I believe we got a vehicle. Is it this? Yeah. Lizard pickup dually. Looks kind of like a, what is it called, those Aztecs, I think. I don't know. Gosh, that looks, that's pretty cool. Got four-door seating. I think we just leave a black for now. Got the fifth wheel hitch. What are your what are your options? I can get the bull bar on it. Well, I like that bull bar. That's pretty cool. Wheel setup. I don't know. Let's see what our options are. Tuning, no. Standard, we'll go with standard. Looks more rugged and standard. And we'll lease that. And then I believe we need to go to trailers. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it'd be under low loaders maybe? Is it this fifth wheel? And we got the fifth wheel lizard. Let's look at this. Let's see where it doesn't really give you any options. 
select color, no wheel options. Got your ramps that I'm assuming will unfold. Off the back, so you can drive something up on there. <clears throat> we'll lease that. Okay, and what was that horsepower on that truck? Let's look at that horsepower on that truck. Horsepower on this truck is 340 horsepower. All right. There we go. We got everything that we need. So, I think we're going to hop in this. Well, let's just hop in this pickup real quick. Get it out of the way. Start it up, see what it sounds like. Not bad. Do a little end cab view here. Got your radio, your automatic gear shift, your speedometer. Got your back seat to haul your friends around. Nice leather seats, rear view mirror, side mirrors. And we are going to We might haul. I don't know if we can fit our harvester on there or not. But we will sure, certainly try. Pull this guy over here. And unfold it. There we go. Let's hop out of that. And we'll get in our... Look at this thing. Here we go. Tell you what. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Got a nice view inside the cab. Oh, it's got a little keyboard. Foot pedals. I'm sure, that's a little air vent or something there. Nice big back window. Controls. Let's go ahead and start it up. So it's facing down. So I got to L1 and I'm pushing up and down on the right stick. Let's pop out of here for a second. So it's got some hydraulics. back in. Swing left and right with your L1 and right stick. So we do your R, R1 and then up and down. Extend your boom out. And do both buttons. And turn that side to side so you can process logs. And open that up. And what does their L stick do? Turns it like that for a tree tree harvester. Your L stick and L1 and R1 held together. So L1, R1, and left stick, left or left and right. Right is up, down. So there we go. Let's see what this horn sounds like. Uh, just your basic little horn.
a little bit too big for this. Yeah, I think we'll just drive it. Might take us a while to get there at five miles an hour. So really that's meant for maybe a bobcat, a trailer. We really do need a trailer, a flatbed. Because this is going to take forever to get to where we need to go. Because I want to take this over by the log place to do some logs over there. So let's uh, buy us another semi. Let's buy us a semi because we need to get this stuff loaded up. Probably something like with the day cab, you think? Just to pull it. Well, we'll just get this. I guess we'll just get this. We'll get to heavy. We'll get to heavy. We'll keep it blue. Uh, lease. Yes. Okay. And we need to go back to these trailers and let's look for a nice low loader to load it on. Let's see. Man, those are too low to the ground. I don't know. What, do I, what are other options? We don't have many options as far as loaders. I hate to get stuck high centered on hills and stuff. Oh, do, 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 do. What do we do? Well, let's just do it anyway. Heck, why not? All right, let's move this out of the way. hook our truck truck and trailer up this forward I don't know if we can fit two on here we're just going to do we're just going to do the one uh, I can stretch it out yeah def definitely you want to haul this machine with the low loader this guy out of the way so de this this would be more used for your bobcat or little met that little messy Ferguson scare that came out not too long ago <coughs> excuse me Let's go and see if we can't get high centered somewhere. If we go fast enough, we won't. Kind of wanted to right there.
And we made it to the log cell point. Offload this. Not meant for speed, just meant for going in the forest and getting what you need and probably try these trees right in here, but we need to go back and pick up our other piece of equipment. And we'll take a look at that other piece. I think I can make the turn. Let's try to make this turn. This truck turns sharp, but... Uh, let's go around up this way. Go back and pick up the other piece of equipment. And they, I think they probably both only go five miles an hour. I mean, you really don't need to speed. You just need to have them in the area that you're working. Back to pick up this other tool. Swing it wide here, and I think we'll just drop it right here. Okay. Now we're gonna hop into this. There's where we go. This is the uh, 953MH. Nice view. Okay, we got your L1, and then back and forth, up, down. Like, because that's probably pinches into a log. You got your right, right, right button. Well, that kind of pivots that. Well, that's that's neat. Up, down, goes, swings it, your boom, in and out. That's up, down. All right. Uh, then you push both buttons together. And you do your right button, and it swivels. And, of course, up and down will open and close it. Let's go load this onto the trailer. And again, this goes four, four miles an hour. Not built for speed, definitely. Go ahead and turn that off, and we'll take this too over to the log cell point so we can. Try that out. All right. Pretty excited about this. I'm. I'm hoping. You know, if, if you like doing logging the old-fashioned way, the hard way, with machines like this, this is the way to go. Loading them onto trailers, whatnot. Stack them in the, in the piles.
It's a pretty little map, so I think this worked perfectly on this map, not too steep terrain. Let's park this right over here. Unhook it, pull this up just a little bit, turn it off. All right, get this thing offloaded. Okay, I'm gonna give give ourselves some room here. Let's turn that off. All right, we are gonna try this thing out. Get my boom out in front of me. You turn on the harvester. There we go. And this one was. So I wonder if I can turn a tree as I'm doing this. Oh no. There we go. There we go. And we'll swing it out here to the left. And let's do it in our six meter. We'll try six. I, we could try eight, I guess. Oh, it's. Holy cow, look, it goes up to 13 meter. Well, that's not a 13 meter tree, I don't think. So you basically, you could skin a whole tree. So let's do 13. Let's just do whole trees. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, ain't that nifty. Let's do one more. We'll grab one more out of here. Take this one right here. We did two trees with this. So far, so good. So that I like how it uh, so do the different meter. You know what else we need to get over here? I think. I think we're going to try to load them onto this, just for, just to try it out. I don't know how I need to be or how I need to be situated, so... I'll just put it right in there somewhere so it's close by. We'll start off small. We'll try this small one first. I like it how you got a clear open view of this cab.
Oh, I dropped it. Okay, I'm just trying to get used to this. wonder I could just slide on the back of that truck seems to grab a whole log pretty well let's check out this view I could get used to this. It might take me a little bit, but it might take me a little bit. Let's try another log. <clears throat> we probably could grab this any way we want to. Because we can we can Turn this, go down. Maybe not. Let's drop this. Let's get out. Uh, let's. I kind of screwed this up, didn't I? Why is it like that? Did it get stuck? <laughs> Alright, let's open this back up. Sorry, I'm just playing around here, just trying to get used to it. So it's like I said. I always want to do that for some reason. That's the way I want it. So you can reach out there into the middle of that 13 meter log. And I'm sure everyone else will find their own way to load. Let's try this view a little bit. I'm going to try something wild and crazy here. Just like that. I think it's supposed to sit under. Let's back this up just a tad. Let's drop this log. Let's see what we got. Let's make sure we're straight. I want to be straight with everything.
kind of little learning curve here for me it is I'm sure other people have their own ways which is fine turn it I wonder if I just need to pick it up from the middle Let's try that forward before we lose it. Alright, that kind of took long enough. I mean, it's, you have plenty of time to do stuff like this. Of course, I need need to practice. Oops. There we go. I need some practice with this, of course. So I think the point is to stay straight with that log and then load them like that. If you got any comments for the video? Please leave a comment. Show me how you would do it. Let me see you uh, make a little video and
All right. Well, there you have it. Kind of. Your two new pieces of equipment. The 953MH and the 989... Okay, I think it's 980 or something. 953 and a 959MH. One's grab the trees and logs. The other one is uh, your tree processor. You could go up to 13 meters on this. So, thank you all for watching. And this is Matt, and we will see you.